You know, there's a song, a hit song from years ago by Crosby, Stills, and Nash called Teach Your Children. And there's a line in it that goes like this. Teach your children what you believe in. Make this a world we can all live in. So what are you going to teach your children? There's a lot to teach your children. It's a big world. We have science and technology, engineering, math, art, design. There's a lot to teach them. But there's one thing I want you to teach your children. Now, I'm the mom of three boys, and as a professional speaker and an author and a writer, they will tell you they get a motivational speech every single night at dinner. <laughs> and they do. But the number one thing I teach my children, and I want you to teach your children so that we can make this a world we can all live in, is to do things for other people without ever expecting anything in return. Do things to make other people happy. Do things to make other people comfortable. Do things to make other people successful. In everything you do, do it to help another human being with something. David Crosby was a guest of the great state of Texas <laughs> for about eight months and four days. And when he got out of prison, I got a call from his manager. He said, he needs a doctor, he needs a dentist, he needs a chiropractor. We've called a few people we know. They've all said they'll help, but they've also insinuated they want the exclusive interview. He said, Dana, this is the first time David's been sober since he was a teenager. He's terrified. He's not talking to anybody. Can you help? It's what you do. I helped. I did what I could for David. Got them numbers, never expected anything of it. Over time, David started to come hang out at the radio station I worked out. Over time, we developed a friendship, something I never expected. And that's what happens when you do things for other people without expecting anything in return. It comes back to you. It comes back again and again and again. David called me in the late 80s and said, we're coming into town. The big tour. It was the Crosby, Stills, and Nash post-prison tour. You know, I'm pretty sure that wasn't the name on the backstage pass, but that's what I call it. He said, we're coming to town. We're going to be at the Woodlands in June. And he said, uh, the Woodlands Amphitheater. He said, there's a bunch of astronauts who want to come to the show. I don't have time to coordinate this. Can you help me take care of it? Yeah. How cool would that be? How hard could that be? <laughs> Astronaut's a code word for engineer. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like herding cats. <laughs> they can get to the International Space Station, but the will call window totally escapes them. <laughs> so I have my little gaggle, or whatever you would call a group of astronauts, a crew, a crew of astronauts. Take them to see Crosby, Stills, and Nash. One of the astronauts, one of the first female astronauts, Bonnie Dunbar, brilliant woman, brilliant in so many ways, and brilliant because she brought one of the NASA pilots with her that night, who is a huge Crosby, Stills, and Nash fan, by the name of Charlie Justice. Charlie Justice and I hit it off. We had a great time. We were talking, we were playing music trivia on March the 7th, 1992. I became Mrs. Charlie Justice. 21 years ago, buddy, 21 years ago. Do things for other people. Do things for other people. In everything you do, find a way to do something for somebody else. I never expected anything from this. I was told not to expect anything from it. I was told by David Crosby's manager, we need your help, there's nothing we can do. Over time, a great friendship, an amazing wonder husband, as I like to call him. Three boys, two of whom are teenagers, I'm having a special, so if you'd like to meet me in the lobby. <laughs> I'll text David every once in a while, sending teenagers to live with you. I'll get a text back, no. <laughs> I have one. Don't do that. But it's amazing. When you do things for other people, you bring a gift. You, you bring 
You bring kolaches or donuts to the office. You give your staff a day off. You make an introduction. You do that for your, your personal friends, don't you? don't you? Don't you set up friends? Put them together and see what happens? Introduce all kinds of people to each other. That's the same thing as doing something for somebody. Introduce people. Give them a client. Give them a lead. Do anything you can for them because it comes back. It comes back again and again and again. It comes back in ways you couldn't even imagine. It comes back in reputation. You become the go-to person because you know who to hook other people up with. You know where to find things. You know where to give information. Do it in everything you do and you'll be amazed and continue to teach your children this. Teach your children to, you see the neighbor carrying in groceries? Go out there and help carry in the groceries. Not for a tip, not for anything, but just to help other people. Make them happy, make them successful, make them content, make them comfortable. Think about that in everything you do. People start to talk about you. Opportunities come your way. Adventures come your way. Husbands come your way. Children come your way. And if all goes well, grandbabies come my way. <laughs> you do these things for people. So teach your children. Teach your children to do things for other people. And explain to your children that the reason you do that is because other things will eventually come your way. And when you teach your children this, then they teach their children, and they teach their children. It's really so simple. And isn't that the name of this session? It's the simple things. People say, oh, but Dana, I can't. You just can't constantly do something for somebody because people will take advantage of you. No, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. And do it again and again and again. Teach your children to do it. Get them to teach their children to do it. And again, explain to them that's where these other things come from. It's where opportunity and adventure and everything that happens in your life comes from is because of something you've done for somebody else, a relationship you've formed with somebody else. And that's how we make this a world that we can live in. Teach your children what you believe in. Make this a world we can live in. That's your moonshot. That's your moonshot. It's really, really simple. That's your moonshot. Starting today, everything you do, you do it to make somebody else successful. You do it to make somebody else happy. And you will be stunned, absolutely stunned, at the other things that come your way. Thank you.